Today I will show you the deployment of an AWS Fargate service with the help of GitHub Actions. So let's start. For this tutorial, the prerequisites are the following. Java JDK install, Maven, Git client, a GitHub account, Docker, AWS account, and AWS configured. So first, we log into our GitHub account and create a new empty repository. We clone the repository to our machine and then download the sample application uh, as a zip file, unzip it and copy all the file to our new repository. I will set the link to the sample application in the description below. So this step I did already. As we can see, I have the sample application downloaded and unzipped. It looks like this one here. A simple Java application. So First, we need to create an ECR repository named Javelin Repo. And in the, your region, my region is EU West 1. After executing this command, you have in your um, AWS console a new repository named Javelin. Repo. Next, we create a task definition. This is a sample HTTP server, which we will use as a first service deployment. I also have done this already, as you can see here in task definition. This is the sample service. Then we need to create a cluster, an ECS cluster named Fargate. I will create this cluster with this command and the cluster will be created. We need a security group and we need to open the port 7000 in the security group which we will do here with this command. I already did this. Now with the next command We will create a sample service using the task definition we created above. The service is named Javelin Service. The region is EU West 1. This is our security group ID which we created above. And important, here you enter your VPC subnets of your default VPC where these tasks can be run. Okay, so let's try this. Now let's check our cluster. Here is it. One cluster named Fargate with one service deployed, which is right now pending. So maybe this 
has some seconds to deploy and start the container. Now we see the task is running. So here's the service with the tasks in running state. So this is only the sample task, but we are interested to deploy our Java link Java application. So how to do that? First, we have to configure secrets. In the GitHub, in our GitHub repository, which we have created, you go to the settings in your repository and then to secrets and define these two secrets the AWS access key ID and the secret access key. You can get this from your AWS account. So once these are set, We have to adjust the AWS GitHub actions, which are in the in this file under the folder .github workflows. In this file, the build and deployment of our Java application will be performed on every push to the a repository. Here are our secrets. We configure the secrets. We log into the Javelin ECR repository. Here we built the Docker container and we push it to the ECR repository. Give it a tag, a new tag. Then we update the task definition with the new image information. And here we deploy the new updated task to the Javelin service on the Fargate cluster. So here above, the only thing we have to edit is the region. You put here U region. Then you, we commit everything and push it. Now have a look at our actions. You will then see here the automatic deployment happening. like this, which was some hours ago. So, and this is a one sample deployment with all the steps in our AWS YAML file. So let's try this here. Everything's up to date. Let's make a little change. A little space in here. Let's look. At this little change. and push this change. Oh, forgot to enter my credentials. Now this little change got pushed. 
to my repo. You see this here, and let's go check the action step. Now, yes, as you can see, the sample deployment is in progress. It now builds our little Java application. makes the docker image and pushes it to the Amazon ECR registry. This may need some seconds. So maybe I stop the video and we'll come back when the deployment is finished. Welcome back. The Deployment was successful. So now, now let's check if the service is up and running. We list our tasks. Yes, one task is running. Now let's look. Let's look and try to describe the task. Hmm. And find the network information. It's here. Network interface ID. And with this information, we can we can find the IP address, the public IP address of this network interface. So let's try this now. Private public IP address. Here is it. And now let's check with curl port 7000. It's our service listening. And we get our response hello world. So the service is up and running. And now on every push, the service will get automatically updated and redeployed. As these uh, resources are not in the free tier of AWS, so we clean them up now to not pay too much yeah so now we are the end thanks for your time and bye